We share many of our provincial parks with bears. Bears are extremely sensitive to human disturbance and activity. Avoiding an encounter is the best way to protect both yourself and the bears. Usually, bears charge or attack because they are feeling threatened. In rare cases, also a bear may see a human as prey and stalk you along a trail. In these cases, try to escape into a building or car. If you cannot escape and the bear charges, use your bear spray. Lacking that, use anything at your disposal to fight off the bear. Rocks, sticks, hiking poles, etc. But what if you have your dog with you? They will try to help you, very safe, but it depends on the breed how and how much they can help. In this video, we have listed 10 dog breeds that can and will protect you from a bear until their last breath. Number 10, Tibetan Mastiff. This powerful, rugged breed with the solemn expression is not inclined to play fetch or frisbee or frolic in the yard with you. Indeed, the Tibetan Mastiff was developed strictly for working purposes, and his instincts to perform that work are ingrained. Livestock guardians bond with flock animals, as well as their own families, with fierce possessiveness, making their own decisions about who is a friend and who is a foe, what is a threat and what is not. In other words, these strong-willed, self-reliant dogs will attempt to defend you in any kind of situation. Aloof with strangers, he will remain watchful every moment they are on his property. This breed is typically patient with his own children and other family pets, but requires careful introduction to those outside the family. Number nine, Corellian Bear Dog. Confident, alert, and brave are all words that describe the Corellian Bear Dog. And those are necessary traits for a dog that was bred to help hunt aggressive, dangerous animals, such as bears, lynxes, and wild boars. Corellian Bear Dogs have high exercise requirements, and they prefer large yards where they can run freely in addition to regular walks. They are intelligent and need human companionship, or else they may try to find their own fun by digging, chewing, and making a mess around the home. Number eight, Rottweiler. Generally, the Rottweiler has a natural protecting instinct. Just like cats love to hunt, Rottweilers are alert and forever watchful over their families. Rotties are silent guardians. They will not bark excessively unless they do feel threatened, though the females do tend to bark more than the males. When the situation comes to defend, they will really defend you. You do not have to do much in the way of training. However, saying that, you should always train a Rottweiler no matter what your plan is. Even if you want the dog to be a ferocious guard dog, you will still need it to be friendly and obedient to you. Just because you feed the dog, it does not mean it will respect you, especially if you have purchased a puppy from an unreliable breeder. Number seven, American Bulldog. A gentle, affectionate dog that loves children and can be considered a big lap dog, the American Bulldog is alert, confident, and loyal to its people. Brave and strong-willed, the American Bulldog will do best when trained from a young age and with an owner that isn't afraid to establish themselves as a strong pack leader. A breed with strong protective instincts, Bulldogs are known for their acts of heroism toward their owners and can sometimes be reserved the strangers. Number six, Cane Corso. Cane Corso was created to be courageous, powerful protectors of both the family and the home. This breed shows amazing judgment in discerning true threats and won't hesitate to use the proper amount of force to get the job done. Cane Corso owners often jokingly say that owning one of these dogs is like having a gun with a brain. While a few may need training to fine tune their ability, for most Cane Corso dogs, the instinct to guard and protect comes naturally. The ability to detect the slightest hint of danger before it becomes a direct threat to their family or property, and the willingness to defend those they love, coupled with courage not known to many other breeds. Number five, Dogo Argentino. Powerful, yet possessed of an almost feline grace, the Dogo Argentino is fearless, yet sensitive, 
energetic outdoors, yet calm indoors. This impressive dog is best owned by active people who will develop his athletic abilities. He must have plenty of physical exercise to maintain his superb muscle structure and plenty of mental exercise to satisfy his desire to work and hunt. As members of the Mastis family, Dogo Argentinos are natural protectors and can be easily trained as guard dogs. In fact, unless used for specific hunting purposes, the breed is more readily known as a guard dog. Note that this breed is banned or has ownership restrictions in a half dozen countries. Number four, Borbel. Boer, a Dutch word meaning farmer, was the name given to Dutch, German, and Huguenot settlers of South Africa who began arriving in the mid 1600s. To protect the remote homesteads from predators, they brought along large guarding dogs, bull types, and mastiff types among them. The interbreeding of these and other European bloodlines in South Africa resulted in something called the boar dog, which was used by boar settlers as a big game hunter and protector. Further refinements eventually gave rise to the Borbel, a fearless mastiff who specialized in protection of hearth and home. Their agility and prodigious strength came in handy when running off or tangling with ferocious wildlife, whether lions or bears. Number three. Presa Canario. The breed is specifically described as dog of guard. This means a defensive posture. Many people believe that the Presa Canario should be unapproachable by strangers. This is not true. The Presa Canario should be watchful and alert at all times, but accepting of a friendly stranger. Calm, confidence in all settings, ready to protect or interact, whichever the situation might warrant. Originating on the Canary Islands, this big mastiff has a giant head and a large athletic body. Generally calm, they do not have particularly high exercise requirements and are happy to lay in the sun and amble about. Number two, Kongle. Kongles are a unique dog breed with a very long history. While most people do not know much about Kongle dogs, these canines have played a very important role in human history. They're considered to be one of the oldest dog breeds that still exist today. They're massive canines that are devoted to protecting both livestock and humans. Not a herding dog in the traditional sense, Kongles are more focused on protecting the flock from would-be predators. With their towering size, strong jaws, and vicious attitudes, they're more than ready to defend their owner. Number one, Caucasian Shepherd. The Caucasian Shepherd Dog is a serious guardian breed and should never be taken lightly. The Caucasian is bold, fearless, self-confident, and fierce when a threat is present. But he is soft, devoted, kind, and endearing to his family. It is crucial for any prospective owner to know what a guard dog temperament means, especially if they have had different breeds before and are accustomed with other types of temperaments. The personality of the Caucasian of Charka spins around its instinctive need to guard and protect. They will be fierce and dangerous fighters when it comes to their owner and their family. So that was it. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Now, a question for you. What other dog breed should be on this list? Let us know in the comments. Here are some other cool videos I know you'll enjoy. See you later.